The Philippines is basically an agricultural country. It is blazed with a fertile soil and a climate conducive to growing crops. We cultivate the plains and hills. There is a wide range of plants we can grow in our country. We can grow plants in backyards, pots, and farmlands. It is easy to learn how to grow plants, and it would be a good thing to grow vegetables. Vegetables are easy to grow. They can be harvested within a few months from planting. They provide essential nutrients the body needs. Welcome to I Agree by Sir Dan. Our topic for today is about selection of good seeds. First, what is a seed? So a seed is fertilized ripened ovule of a flowering plant that contains an embryo capable of germination to produce a new plant. The seed is basic input in crop production. It is the beginning of life from which various agricultural products came from. Good quality seeds have a high percentage of germination, have correct moisture content, and are free from impurities. A seed of good quality germinates at the right time and should have the ability to produce a strong seedling under field conditions. Natural or artificial drying and dry storage conditions are important. Preconditions for good seed quality supply. Plant growers should determine the germinating power of seeds to ensure uniformity of plant growth and to facilitate cultivation and early maturation of plants. In selecting seeds, you must consider these following factors. Number one, viability. Seeds that can germinate and produce strong healthy plants are considered viable seeds. Number two, damage free. Seeds should be whole and free from any damage, either by insects or mechanical elements. If the food reserves of the seeds are damaged, they might not have enough supply for the growing plant. Number three, true to type. Seeds should be of the same variety and should have uniform shapes and sizes. Number four, free from seed-borne diseases. Seeds should come from disease-free plants, free from pests and pathogens. A number of diseases could be seed transmitted. Number five, free from weed mixture. Seeds should be free from weeds and other foreign or inert matter. And the last is mature. Seeds should come from fully ripened fruits. Matured seeds have fully developed embryos. They can be distinguished by their size, texture, and color. To test the viability of the seed, what is testing first or seed testing. So when you say seed testing, it is a process of evaluating the quality of seeds to be sure that they possess the traits of good seeds. Seed must be tested before planting to make sure that they will germinate and produce strong and healthy plants. There are different methods to check the seed viability. Number one is dish method or what we call dinner plate method. Number two, rock doll method. And last is seed box method. Dish method is a method of conducting germination test, which is done by placing seeds in a plate lined with motion tissue paper or cotton the plate is then covered with another sheet of moist tissue paper. The seeds are allowed to germinate for several days and then the number of seeds that germinated is counted. A good batch of seed is one wherein almost all the sample seeds have germinated. The ragdoll method or rolled towel method is one of the simplest and satisfactory method of testing the viability of seeds. Simply count the seeds to be germinated. Place the seeds evenly along one side of a damp piece of cloth so that the edge of the cloth covers them. Roll the cloth and place it on a tray. Place a piece of stick on the damp cloth to allow circulation of air. After three days, 
count the number of seeds that have germinated. The last is seed box method. Get a box of any convenient size, fill the box with garden soil about 12 centimeter deep, place about 100 seeds inside the box. Water the seeds regularly until the seeds germinate and the seedling grow. Count the germinated seed. After knowing the different method of seed testing, all you have to do is compute the percentage germination. So when you compute percentage germination, we need to follow the formula. Percentage germination is equal to the number of seeds germinated divided by the number of seeds sown times 100. Remember that the 100 is constant to make it percentage. So let's have an example. If you place 100 seeds inside the box and only 70 seeds have germinated, the question is, what is the percentage germination? So our solution now is, Formula percentage of germination is equal to the number of seeds germinated divided by the number of seeds sown times 100. Percentage of germination is equal to 70, which is the number of seeds germinated, divided by 100, which is the number of seeds sown times 100. Percentage of germination is equal to 0 0.7 because when you divide 70 divided by 100, the answer is 0 0.7, then multiply it to 100 to become percentage. Our answer now is 70%. Take note that seeds are considered germinated when all vital seedling parts are already visible, such as the radical, the cotyledon. The radical will grow as a primary root, while the cotyledon will grow as the primary leaf. That's all, and I thank you.